Hello everybody and welcome to another ThemeCraft tutorial video. My name is David and today we'll be looking at how to use buddy forms in order to enable guest posting with full moderation from the front end in any WordPress site or theme. So without further ado, let's get right into it. For this tutorial, we'll be using the redesigned ThemeCraft website. Feel free to check out our awesome products, read our magazine posts, as well as potentially becoming an author and participating in our community. Now, this ThemeCraft website is using Buddy Forms, which allows an option for a guest post. So if we hover over here, click on New Guest Post, and here we have a nice form, so we can put our title over here. So my first magazine post, and then in the content section, that's obviously where you write your actual blog post. Uh, but for this example, we'll just post a bunch of uh, lorem ipsums, right? That's our article for this example. As you can see, you can choose a category, right? So if it has to do with web development, WordPress, plugins, uh, body forms, body press, uh, you can choose your category that your article pertains to. So let's just say it's about web development and WordPress. We have an option to choose tags. So for example, let's just say that our article is about um, app development and body forms. We can upload a featured image. So for example, we'll choose this one right here. That's gonna be our featured image for the article. We have to agree to the guest post guidelines. And once you're all done with your blog posts, you can go ahead and either save it or submit it for moderation, which is what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna press submit. And we get a message saying redirecting form submit to review successfully. And as you can see, we have our featured image and a link to our magazine post, which is currently awaiting review. And once a moderator approves it, it'll become a live guest post. And if we click on the link to our post, you can see here that our featured image is right at the top as a banner. There's our name, date, and category. And if we scroll down, here's our article. Now, if we click on the magazine tab, this is where your guest post is going to be displayed once it is approved. And it could also be found through a search bar as well as the tags. If you ever need to manage your submissions, click right here. And as you can see, we have our post right here. And this is also where we're going to find all of our other future posts. If you ever need to delete your post, you can do it from this window right here, as well as check the current status of your post. If you ever need to edit your profile, you can click right here. You can change your name, set up a new password, change your email, or change your bio or website. Now we're gonna to go to the back end and I'm gonna show you how to set all of this up on your website using Buddy Forms. So we're in the back end of our website right here and let's go to Buddy Forms. So we're in Buddy Forms and we're going to go into Guest Posts Form. This is where our author's dashboard will be. And as you can see here, we have used this form builder in order to create all the required fields that we need for our form. If you wanted to edit this, for example, featured image, uh, you don't like image, for example, you want to say featured picture, you can do that, save it, but we're gonna keep it as featured image for now. And right down here is where you select your field type. So we have divided these into contact fields, user fields, post fields, basic fields, as well as extra fields. So for example, if we needed to add a checkbox, you can choose that, add field, and our checkbox is gonna be right at the top here. You can go ahead and edit it. You can hit the plus button and name your labels. So for example, option one, right? And the value, let's just set it at one. And option two, value two. And we're going to move the checkboxes just right below the email. We're going to click update so I can show you guys live what's going on. And now we're going to go new guest post. And now if we scroll down, we should see the checkboxes and they're right there. And that's how easy it is to use buddy forms. Now, if you'd like to see all the posts that were submitted using this form right here, you can just go to submissions. And right here, we have an option to display the submissions from a certain form. So we're going to use our form that we were using. And as you can see here, we have all the submissions that were submitted using this form. And at the very top, we have our most recent one that is awaiting approval. And if we go to posts, we have all of our posts right here. And if we want to just filter through the ones that need moderation, you can select this tab. And right here at the top, we have our post that is waiting to be reviewed. Now, if we click on the post itself, you can see here that this is our article. 
And let's say you're working with someone and you don't really like this article and you want to reject it. We have an option right down here, reject this post. We have this nice form right here that we can send to the guest, letting him know that his submission was rejected and let him know what he should change about his article. And as you can see here, we have these short codes right here that you can use instead of typing out the guest's full information. With BuddyForms, you're also allowed to set up a notification system. For example, when there's a new post or an edit to the post. So right now we're back in BuddyForms and we are in our guest post form. And if we scroll down to the form setup section, click on notifications. You can create new mail notifications when there's a form submission or if there's a post status change. So for example, we have one right here where we receive a notification when a new post is published. And for example, if we want to get a notification when someone trashes their post, we pick trash and hit create new mail notification. And as you can see here, it's added. And if someone scraps their post, now we're going to get a notification every time that happens. Another thing that I wanted to add is that using the BuddyForms moderation extension, you will be able to get a moderation meta box, which will be found under all of this content right here. So right here we have moderation and you can basically set up your moderation logic. So for example, if we set it to moderation is disabled, then whenever there's a new post, it wouldn't have to get reviewed. It would just get posted right on the website without any moderation. The option that we have selected right now is that users can create, save and edit a draft until it is submitted for moderation. Uh, and there's also a few other options like users can only submit a post for moderation, but drafts cannot be saved. And underneath you have the option to change your labels as well as set up your default text. So this shows that with BuddyForms, you are able to fully control the moderation of the guest posts on your website. Another great quality about BuddyForms is that whenever there's a published post and you need to edit it with WordPress, you would need to change it into a draft and then you'll be able to work on it. But in the meantime, it wouldn't be live on the website. Whereas using BuddyForms, you are able to clone that post and have the old one live and working on the clone in the background. And once that is ready, you can overwrite the live post. So I hope that you guys can really appreciate the BuddyForms plugin and its great benefits that it brings to the table and can now generate those guest posts on your website. If you like this tutorial video, then give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below suggesting what kind of video we should record for you guys next. And make sure to subscribe to the ThemeCraft channel as well as hit the notification bell in order to stay updated with the latest videos. This has been David from ThemeCraft. Thanks for watching and take care.